All right, hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be playing some Mario Tennis Aces. This is a game I picked up on release uh, after a long time of not even picking up the Switch. Not much that came out this year has interested me a whole lot. Um, but picked up this game and, and when I got it I, I've been jumping right into the online tournaments in the standard play mode, uh, the ones with the power-ups and all those kinds of things. Haven't uh, had a ton of free time over the last month, so I've not yet jumped into the adventure mode um, in this game, and it's a single player, and that's uh, what we're going to do today. So let's jump right in. Alright, so we are uh, in the overworld here for the uh, single player, it looks like. I watched the, the cutscene, and it didn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, basically, Wario and Waluigi showed up and, and did some things. Uh, so we're going to go and, and see what we could find here um, after we jump into the overworld. So let's, uh, let's get going. Um, status? I don't know what that means. Travel? Alright, looks like there's only one spot we have to start here, so we will... Oh, you have to move forward. Okay, now we're uh, moving on to the uh, first game, I'm assuming. Hmm. Well, first challenge is to figure out how to play, I guess. We gotta keep going. Go this way? Ah, here we go. Fast Ruins. Let's jump right in. Stop right here, past here is Bass Ruins. Unless you have important business there, you better scram. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Alright, let's do it. Looks like we have no choice. We can't move forward unless we beat this guy. Tennis. Alright, looks like we're jumping right into the action. I like the looks of the uh, stadium here. I've just been playing the online tournament mode and I'm getting sick of that. The one stadium that you can play. Oh, we're just learning the basics here, it sounds like. Well done. Oh, thanks, man. Well, we got him there. So this just looks like it's basically the uh, the tutorial all over again. So we'll just burst through this. Need a lot of strategy. Oh, yes. Well. This isn't proving to be super challenging yet. Talking about charge shots. The stadium is looking nice though. Why can't we play with this in uh, tournament mode? Well, we're making quick work of the dry bones here. Alright, one more point, we should do it. Match point. Game set and match. Game set and match. So far, super easy. I lost, seriously? Yeah, of course you lost. You didn't even try. Temple of Basque. Here we are, Crown Jewel. Come on. I do appreciate that they made any attempt at including a story in a tennis game because I couldn't imagine trying to come up with anything for a storyline here. Ancient Trial. Here we go. Prove your tennis skills. Visitors to the Temple of Basque. Four else I require a display of skill. Alright, let's do it. Ha -ha. 
Looks like we gotta shoot with some top spin to that uh, that pillar. All right, yep, that did it. So this is just kind of continuing the tutorial. It looks like. Barely got that one in there, but we'll take it. Flat shot. Easy. Got to hit him with the old lob here. Not bad so far. Alright, can we pass? Ah, excellent. We've done it. Zero out of ten. Use a different shot you know to solve this. Alright, so it's going to tell us what kind of hits we have to do. we got to do it consistently, it looks like. Uh, not too much difficulty here, though, as far as I can see. Fairly straightforward. There isn't even really much aiming involved, honestly. It seems like the door just opens right in front of where you need to hit it. So I'm not even holding any directions on the uh, directional pad. And with the old lob. by lob, I mean uh, drop shot. Alright, well nothing too crazy so far here. Yeah, this is pretty simple. I like the idea, though. I, I've heard that the, um, the entire adventure mode is pretty short. I saw some people talking about how they were beating it within uh, just a couple hours, which is kind of a bummer, because uh, while this is pretty easy, I could see them making some kind of crazy minigames uh, with, with these kind of mechanics, so who knows, maybe they'll, they'll add some of that kind of stuff in the future. I haven't played any of the future, or uh, any of the Mario Tennis games from the past, so um, I'm not sure how, how closely this follows along with uh, what they've done traditionally. I think it's the same developers. Camelot, uh, I've seen mentioned a couple times as the, the primary developers for this game, uh, and uh, obviously Nintendo as well. Master Mario, I've been awaiting your most fated of arrivals. All right. Sweet looking uh, racket there. Can we, we can grab one of those. Yeah, the bad dudes. We're going to have to face Lucian eventually. Yeah, we're going to need that racket, I bet. Maybe that's what they've got. I'm not sure. All right, looks like we're kind of facing a uh, ghost of ourself here. So, let's see. In order to use the special shot, you must first master a new power called the zone shot. Okay, so we're kind of just continuing the tutorial here. Okay, we probably are supposed to... Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> Not too bad. Yep. Tutorial. Zone speed. No. Looks like it's uh, unlimited. Well, they got me on that one. Ah, he didn't even try. Basically hit him right in the face. What's next? Probably the power shot. Alright, so we just gotta block it perfectly. Easy enough. It's kind of interesting that they have you play the other kind of tutorial when you first start the game, I think. Or maybe that's just something I did by myself, but this is basically the exact same as the tutorial at the beginning of the game. Uh, just different stages. It looks cooler. Talking about some charge shots for like our meter, it looks like. Gotta get a max one. There we go. Alright, looks like we've passed that one. Trick shots. Ah, yes. The thing everyone's angry about on uh, the internet. I will say I have learned the way of the trick shot. Uh, 
Is it overpowered like people say? I don't know. It's definitely a little bit cheap, but uh, there are strats that can beat the constant trick shotting um, in the tournament modes, at least, that I've found. So, I don't know. If, if you don't like the trick shots at this point, I think just play simple mode. And if they decide to balance the game at all, you know, uh, maybe folks can come back to the, the standard mode with the power ups. But I personally find uh, the simple mode a little bit boring. Uh, just back and forth, some rallies just seem to never end. Uh, so, I like the a little bit of additional challenge and strategy that's involved with uh, standard mode. All right, max out your energy and press L for special shot. Oh. Okie dokie. Not a chance, I bet. Yep, got him. All right, moving on. Not sure what that said. Looks like we passed uh, the initial Mario, though. This is awful. We've got to gather those power stones, so we must gotta get some stones to uh, battle these guys at the end of the trail, I assume. Now well, we can review how to play. Very nice. Okay, now we can. Looks like we've unlocked this stadium, I guess. Is that really all we do there? That's kind of a bummer if that's the case. Alright, so let's go find our uh, next spot here. Looks like the Piranha Plant Forest is up next. Let's jump in. Hey, we got a Donkey Kong. Hey, DK, we'd really, really like to enter the forest about now, but he's saying no. Too dangerous. Alright. I bet we're up for the challenge. Alright, looks like we're gonna have to play with uh, zone shots. Pipe grape. We gotta beat Donkey Kong while avoiding the piranha plants. Hmm. Alright. Looks simple enough. Yeah, Donkey Kong doesn't seem to have too much game, so let's. Uh, See if we can do this relatively quickly. We didn't even see any prana plants yet. But I assume they're gonna pop up when you least expect it. Well, DK is uh, kind of terrible. Way too slow. The Prana Plants did absolutely nothing. Is that really it? I guess a neat mechanic. Is it totally just random though? Because Donkey Kong does not have a. Is the reaction time of a snail? Are you kidding me? Too easy, DK. Too easy. I wish you could disable the uh, replays in this game. I think I've watched like maybe one total ever. Should we finish him off? Uh, we don't even need to use the power shot. Right, we'll do it this time. Though. I have a feeling that uh, he will not even try to get it. He doesn't have enough boost anyway, so if we just aim it, uh, you know, over there, probably good to go. Yeah, he didn't even try to. He didn't even use his zone speed, so no problem at all there. Yep. Easy enough. He did nothing. That was easy mode. Experience points. If you're in a tennis match and you fill up your XP gauge, your level will go up. I had no idea there was even a leveling system in this game. That's, that's cool, I guess. We'll see how it goes. Oh, so you gotta level up to beat the better opponents. I see how it is. Is that that whole match? Yes, it was. Donkey Kong acknowledges our skills. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, Donkey Kong. 
All right, here we go into the forest. Left or right? We'll go here. Forest practice court. This, this probably helps us uh, unlock a court, I assume. Alright, sounds like we just have to rally back and forth with Toad in this one. Two hundred? What if we just win? Alright, looks like we gotta do the trick shots to get us ten. Can we juke Toad out, or is she unstoppable? Oh, you don't even want to do that. You're supposed to rally. I see. All right. Well, this is going to be super easy. Just rally in with Toad. Here's a good example of why people don't like the trick shot because uh, although Toad isn't trying to do anything to initially juke me out here, all you really have to do is run up the net every single time, and I'm just spamming back on the uh, the right stick just to uh, trick shot, and it uh, it's usually successful. There are exceptions, but um, for the most part, whew, risky. Cleared. Super easy. You kidding me? Oh, we get a whole level for that. Nice. What's that do? Nothing? Okay. I can get behind that. A leveling system that uh, does absolutely nothing. We did it. Uh, Rack durability. Got it. Alright, well I was sitting here for a second um, trying to figure out if there's actually a difficulty setting for the adventure mode here in tennis, Mario Tennis, and it doesn't look like there is one. It sounds like it actually just progresses uh, in difficulty as you continue through the campaign. Uh, I've also been sitting here for a minute, uh, just reading an article over here, and uh, these prana plants are driving me crazy, so we're going to jump right in here and see if we can take these guys out. So dark, damp, and spooky. Yeah, it is. That picture looks totally different than the uh, overworld map we're looking at, though. Defeat 30 prana plants within the time limit. Alright. I'm game. Hit the fireballs back and whack the prana 30 times. Whoa! Jeez. I don't understand... Oh... I don't quite understand how you're supposed to actually hit these guys. Other than doing this, I guess. I don't I don't know how you're supposed to specifically hit these dudes. But that'll get them. Like I'm aiming to the direction that these guys are and it's not doing much. We got a black one. Well, missed it. Not sure what that does. We'll hit that guy with the old zone speed. This fireball's going to nowhere. We'll hit the black one with the zone speed and do it again, I guess. 
basically, if you're not holding the buttons before these guys launch their fireballs, you're out of luck. Although I'm getting the hang of it now. These uh, zone shots are making it super easy. Oh, shoot. Running out of time, though. I gotta step it up here. Whoa, we're getting on. 30 seconds. All right. These fireballs are hard to even concentrate on. Launch it that guy. Twenty seconds. I think I might be out of time here, boys. Twenty-three. You hit him with another uh, zone shot here. What the heck is going on here? What? Well, that escalated quickly. Jeez. Oh, I almost gained a whole level though. Excellent. Well, they just, all right. We got it this time. Yeah, they caught me off guard. Uh, was not expecting that. Here we go. Let's do it again. Three more, one shot left in my rack at 50 seconds. I think as long as I'm careful here, we should be good. Oh, my time is dwindling. One more. Come on, one more. Too early! Wow. What an embarrassment. I don't know though, this doesn't really seem to be much skill involved here. They're just spamming you with random shots that you have very little control over uh, where they're going. <sighs> Alright, one more time, we should we should have it. This isn't difficult, it's just kind of annoying, to be honest. These required dialogue prompts every time are uh, a bit annoying as well. I feel like that's a very Nintendo thing to make you do, is listen to the same dialogue every single time. Two more. One more. Nope, still two. Cleared! Apparently. Alright, well. Good to be moving past that stage. We keep leveling up, but it doesn't seem to be uh, doing anything at all. Oh, we got a little shot speed increase that time. Nice. I thought maybe you get to pick the attributes uh, when you level up. You get to pick which things you're, you're improving of your stats, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Um, nonetheless, Piranha Plant Habitat looks like it's in the books. Uh, you're amazing, Mario. Now move onward. I shall. Thank you. I'll head over to this other dead end. Looks like another uh, probably mini game type of thing. Forest Edge. Yep, dead end. Good old Spike is here, though. Looks like he's up for a match. Improve his defense. He's gonna give us a racket if we can help him improve his defense. Sounds good to me. Return any ball to the Piranha Plant shoot to areas of the court I can't possibly reach. If you can't return the ball or send back a shot, blah blah blah. Successfully hit 20 shots past me with fewer than three misses. So we just gotta score on him a bunch of times. For a wooden racket. Alright. Twenty shots past your opponent with fewer than three misses. Ah. Alright. So you just gotta keep him on the move. We'll just lob right over his head. Look at this. So basically, you just have to shoot where he is not, it would appear. I think you can pretty much stand right here in the middle and uh, be okay. Okie doke. Okay, that went right by him and he still missed it, so... 
Not too bad here. Looks like we're about halfway done with this mini game. There's not a chance he's gonna hit that. Be sweet if you could hit it right in those green pipes in the back there, but I don't think that is in the cards. Look at that. I hit it right at him. Although I gotta be really careful now. I only got one strike left on my uh, racket. Oh, he tried. I'm saving my charge shot for the next uh, the next black dude that comes out shooting those crazy pink balls. Here we go. Seems like a good choice. Alright, two more. Alright, pretty easy. That one's in the books. Cleared. Level six, we're flying up. We got a little bit of tiny run speed increase. We did it. You're truly stupendous with a racket. Oh yeah, that was amazing work right there. Got a wooden racket. I feel like that's worse than the racket I have currently. Oh, gotta move myself here. When you acquire a new racket, the number of rackets you can use in adventure mode will increase. So it's basically saying when you get a racket, you can use it. Cool. Alright, I see. So basically as we get more rackets, we can break more stuff. Alright, well then we can move on to the next one here. So far, so good. Ancient Altar. There we go. Pretty deep in the forest now. I wonder if we're close to a power stone yet. Uh, oh yeah, we're very deep. Two whole courses. Toad's got the willies. Play. Here we go. Defeat the boss of Piranha Plant Forest within the time limit. All right, let's see what the uh, the old boss has got for us here. Reminds me of the dude from uh, Mario Kingdom Battle. Alright, let's do it. Well, the trick shot still works at him. So does he do anything special, or does he just, uh, do you just play tennis with him? Oh, his health is low, I see. Do we have to hit him while he's down? Oh, maybe you gotta do this. Yeah, that looks like it. There we go. Gotta hit him while he's down. I see how it is. Let me pause this for a second. I'm still in the way. There's no good spot on the screen that I am not... Uh... Oh, he's getting, getting pissed. We gotta jump over it. Nice. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Using the trick shots. So it looks like every time he hits it back, he just loses a little bit of health. Uh, nothing too crazy. Oh, he got me. Here we go, boy. PD Piranha. Second life down. 
Hit him right on the old belly button. Gets him every time. Alright, final life. What do you got for me now? Some more tornadoes? Easy. Yeah, this is kind of cool. I like that mechanic. Not too bad once you get the hang of it. Alright, final life. how much life it takes down if we just use the power shot on him uh, without him already being down right in the face oh quite a bit cool in fact that about takes half of his life I'd say but here we go looks like here's the finishing shot the traditional uh, Nintendo hit the boss three times and he's dead type of deal I like it cool little munchers back there too yeah, I really like the aesthetic of this game so far. Um, kind of bums me out that they didn't bring more of this into the online uh, tournament mode. But it looks like we've got uh, our first uh, Chester objective here. It's probably got one of those power stones in it. Level 7, got a little bit more agility. Sounds good. I didn't notice anything different. I think I'm using that new racket that I just won, but I, I couldn't tell any difference at all. Alright, looks like we beat the ancient altar, beat the boss, got the first power stone. Sweet. Oh, no. Better found the other power stones pronto. You now choose the Prana Plant Force Court. Alright, so basically you just unlock all these things for single player mode as you go, it looks like. 